Welcome back to MedBoard Visuals, a focused primary care board review where you can relax and study for the boards at the same time. Now, we are presently in the gastroenterology section, liver disease, subsection, hepatitis B, antibody interpretation, and other key points. Okay, let us begin. All right, we're going to start off by looking at the structure of hepatitis B virus. Now pay attention to the envelope because here we have hepatitis B surface antigen. If you see hepatitis B surface antigen, this equals a current infection, period. It's a current infection. Now antibodies, IgG antibodies to hepatitis B surface antigen is what we're trying to make. Why? Because if you see this anti-HBS antibody, if you see this, this equals a cured or vaccinated patient. All right, let's take a closer look at an acute infection. The hepatitis B surface antigen and the hepatitis B E antigen, which we'll come back to, are both elevated during an acute infection. The patient just got infected. Now, fortunately, 70% of these are subclinical. 30% will be icteric, actually. Occasional fevers, arthritis, nausea, and anorexia. The ALT and AST may be very high, 1,000 to 2,000. Usually no treatment because most adults will actually clear the infection at this point. They usually cure it themselves. Now the virus is actually secreting hepatitis B surface antigen into the bloodstream and in high amounts, like 1,000 to 1 compared to the hepatitis B surface antigen on the envelope. But this is good because our immune system can go after hepatitis B surface antigen. All right, but hepatitis B E antigen is also being produced by the virus factory right here. All right, now the true function of hepatitis B E antigen is actually really not known, but it is a marker for an actively replicating virus. Now we think that hepatitis B E antigen may be trying to trick the immune system. It may be trying to mimic hepatitis B core antigen. And notably, hepatitis B core antigen right there and hepatitis B E antigen both come from the same part of the DNA. So it's possible their immune system gets confused. It's looking for hepatitis B core antigen, but it goes after hepatitis B E antigen. But eventually we find hepatitis B core antigen or our immune system does. And at that point, we can start to put up a fight against hepatitis B. How? Because we start producing IgM antibodies. IgM hepatitis B core antigen antibodies. All right, so at this point, our IgM hepatitis B core antigen antibodies start to rise. So if we see IgM or IgG hepatitis B core antigen, that equals exposure only. It does not mean that you are cured, period. It is exposure only. But IgM is putting up a fight. It's putting up such a good fight that the hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B E antigen fall fall to almost undetectable levels. But our immune system is still fighting. Although we only see IgM hepatitis B core antigen, the immune system is fighting to produce anti-HBS antigen. This is the window period. We just don't know which one is going to win, but they're putting up a good fight. If we win, IgG hepatitis B surface antigen saves the day. And yes, he's cured. Fortunately, our adult immune system wins 95% of the time and then begins producing anti-HBS antibodies. But if acquired perinatally, you only win 5% of the time. But there's a problem. If the virus wins, IgG hepatitis B surface antigen, rest in peace. No immunity. This is a chronic infection. So hepatitis B surface antigen is now actively being produced as well as hepatitis B E antigen usually during an actively replicating phase. Okay, so if we see hepatitis B surface antigen, this patient is either newly infected or they are chronically infected. We don't know which one yet, but what we do know is that they have a current infection. If we see hepatitis B surface antigen plus hepatitis B E antigen, this indicates active replication. 
that's important. Okay, so again, HBS antigen equals a new versus a chronic current infection. IgG hepatitis B surface antigen equals either a previously exposed patient that has cured themselves or a vaccinated patient. And the way we can tell the difference is because a patient who has cured themselves because they've seen the virus will actually start producing IgM or IgG hepatitis B core antigen. The vaccinated patient will not because the core antigen is not in the vaccine. All right, quick summary, because we went over a lot here. Number one, currently infected equals hepatitis B surface antigen, period. Number two, cured equals IgG hepatitis B surface antigen, anti-HBS. Number three, exposed equals IgG or IgM hepatitis B core antigen, anti-HBC. Will stay positive for life. In addition, is positive in both cured and active patients. It just means you've been exposed. Number four, cured and exposed equals IgG hepatitis B surface antigen plus IgG slash IgM hepatitis B core antigen. Exposed, cured. Number five, Vaccinated equals IgG hepatitis B surface antigen only. No IgG or IgM hepatitis B core antigen because core antigen is not in the vaccine. Number six, window period. IgM or IgG hepatitis B core antigen only. There is no HBS antigen, HBE antigen, or IgG hepatitis B surface antigen. But the IgM hepatitis B core antibody has done a good job in suppressing HBE and HBS levels, which is good. It's giving us a fighting chance. This is the window period. Number seven, actively replicating equals hepatitis B surface antigen plus hepatitis B E antigen. If you see those, active replication. Acute or chronic. And again, an acute infection, hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B E antigen both rise. There's an error there. That bottom one is hepatitis B E antigen, not core. All right, but chronically, the vir if the virus wins, hepatitis B surface antigen and typically hepatitis B E antigen are both being produced. This is chronic immune active. Okay, this now brings us to the end of this video, hepatitis B antibody interpretation. Join us now for the next video in the gastroenterology section, chronic hepatitis B phases. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, press like, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you from MedBoardVisuals.com.